one of my favorite things to do in Marauders is a naked run or a knife only run and I've got a few knife only runs here and they are quite challenging and they can be just generally really fun. So I'm going to provide some commentary on these runs and this is the asteroid mine on that table you can see I know there's pretty much always a pistol so I rushed for it but there was a flare pistol, a pistol I haven't actually used in game yet but I know if you get a headshot it's a one hit kill and I did hear a guy creep up from his airlock. Yeah, wrecked. So I have no idea what happened with the flare, I just completely missed him, but this shows how quickly you can start to steamroll when doing knife only runs. We killed that guy, got his stent, some basic equipment, but you can go from there. This guy was another player. But one of the challenges with this sort of run is you are pretty much nearly close to running out of ammo and you have nearly zero meds or food because you're going to be on low health nearly all the time unless you get lucky and find some decent loot. One of the favourite things I like to do in the asteroid mine is head to where the vault is, the drill pit, because in the drill pit can be some good loot. There's two bags of meds in the drill pit as well. And one of my viewers on a different video told me there was a hidden stash right around here. So you run past the entrance of the air processing, like turn left before that sort of entryway. Go into here, there's a hidden stash. So look out for these little panels on the floor because you can find some good loot. So this run already, considering we went in with a knife only, is a pretty profitable run. And I like to pick up that nickel orb whenever I see it because that is a daily contract, so it's an easy contract to finish. So after picking up this second war bond, I just needed to get out. Really profitable run, but jewelry box. Jewelry boxes are awesome. So we get out, sell it all, get into the next raid. But it's not always going to be going to plan. And in this raid, I do like going to the naval shipyard because in these lockers, generally, are pretty good weapons. And the Johnson can one hit kill to the head. A couple of shots to the body. But um, yeah, I, I kind of just missed every shot after the first shot on that guy. And uh, but yeah, they don't always go to plan getting killed by AI. But it's really easy to bounce back. And you're never really running out of money. I mean, it costs, what, a couple of hundred dollars to to buy a knife. You could go in with just a star pistol. You could do that, but I don't know. It's like going over a knife. It's just uh, a little bit more fun. Now, onto the Terraformer. This is a map that I don't know too much about in terms of finding weapons lying around. So it's always really risky for me. But luckily, this first person we see is an AI. And he decides not to shoot that much. But again, we can steamroll from this one kill. And the BBSH, while it does have a high amount of recoil, it's got a high fire rate, so it can spit out a lot of bullets. It can spit out a lot of damage really quickly. And again, this is one of those instances of starting to steamroll up some loot but we need to go deeper we need to get more loot and especially at this point we definitely need some meds and at this point doing this raid i was thinking of already just bugging out because i'm not really too confident about finding enough meds but i decided to run for the depot area because in this little security room is a med bag and we get really lucky. And these big sort of greenish boxes, always go to loot them when you see them because they can have some really good loot in them. Now 
Now we are just coming up against a bunch of AI, but they can have some decent stuff, could have some meds or food. But the center of their terraformer can have some good loot as well. I don't have a blowtorch, so I can't hit the bolt. But you could be a bit lucky and find a blowtorch. And I'm coming to realize more and more that if there's a lot of AI around you or AI being spawned, sometimes you can hear them be and like spawned in. They suddenly just like drop in. You can hear the footsteps almost like land. That pretty much means there's no players near you. And uh, it's kind of what happens here. I'm really surprised by how many AI are in this one central area. Yeah, I have never seen four AI in this one little central tower in the terraformer. Sometimes like just one or two, but never four. Now, the BAR is a really good weapon. It can like one tap people to the head with most helmets and it only takes a few shots to the chest against most armors to kill them. But it does have a high amount of recoil. You can get an extended mag and a compensator for it, which of course does help. And really the only drawback with it is getting used to controlling the recoil because the ammo, the 0.300 ammo is rare. I say it's the rarest ammo and to make it you need high grade gunpowder and reinforced metal. And there's a lot of high level stuff that needs reinforced metal and to be able to just make loads of ammo, you can't really find enough reinforced metal for it unless there's something you can scrap for it, which I don't know yet. I don't know what you can scrap that's worth scrapping to get reinforced metal. Unless you can just buy something that's really expensive to get it, but I don't generally like doing that. I did think these two could have been players until I saw them because I think it's quite rare, unless you're in the naval shipyard, to have two AI running in the same sort of direction close together. But another decent raid. I kept the helmet. I think I sold the BAR because I've already got a couple of BARs back in my stash. Now on to the last raid of the video, back on the mine, and again I'll run straight for the table because I know there's most of the time going to be a weapon, and there's this pistol. So we deal with that cheeky AI. But I did hear this airlock start to open, so I thought I'd see what I can do, see if I can kill the guy. I think I miss all my shots, but... Run out of ammo, see two guys. Yes, it's time to bounce. So I decided to make a run for the drill pit. And when I make these like naked run or knife only run videos, there are people who always say just take the Luger and the ammo on your ship, but well, you know, I'm doing a naked or knife only run. That's the whole point of, you know, doing it. I'm not going to take the Luger or the ammo on the ship. I might do some videos where I take the Luger just to show you guys what it's like. But it's kind of the same with doing a knife only run, but it's a little bit easier sometimes to get that first kill and start steamrolling up that loot. But that guy I was just shooting at, I'm pretty sure he was one of the crewmen from that airlock I just engaged him with. Trying to be a little bit sneaky, trying to hopefully find a better weapon down in the drill pit because you can sometimes find some really good weapons down here. Now the Liberator, I absolutely hate this shotgun. Absolutely hate it. I never want to use it unless it's at like point blank range, but still I'll probably end up using something else. So we get a little bit lucky again, finding some meds. And that body there, I'm pretty sure is the guy I was just shooting at, so someone else took him out. So 
So not the greatest of hauls from from this run. I do decide to uh, to jump out now, but it's still profit. And if you're like running low on money or pretty much have no money, just doing these small runs, it will help to build up that bank balance, especially if you're doing contracts along with it. And you should really be doing your daily contracts all the time to build up that rep and just to get in more cash. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe for more and check out this video right here.